Men and women from around the world are here to compete in five events, which is pretty amazing since most of us would not do well in just one of them. SNN John Woodruff has more now from the Sarasota Polo Club on what keeps these athletes going. They fall down, they stand up, and also they don't cry, oh, I have something, no, they go on. UIPM President Dr. Klaus Schorman says pentathletes are unlike any other. They are gladiators capable of competing on an international level in five different sports, but they are also humble, everyday people. Our athletes are not with high nose, no, they are really athletes as Kupatang wanted. I found out about the sport four years ago and uh, just picked up fencing. Um, I'd hunted with my dad before, so I knew how to shoot, and um, I fell in love with it. Competing in five events requires dedication, but it's also a way for American pentathlete Samantha Achterberg to see the world. Went to Egypt this year, been to Sweden, uh, Poland, so gotten to go to a lot of really neat places. Making jet lag and fatigue a major factor for athletes to contend with. All of us right now, we're actually on Colorado time, so waking up that early this morning. Um, you know, you get tired and you kind of have your highs and lows throughout the day, and it's just trying to, you know, keep a steady stream of energy. And what does Margot Isaksen recommend? Whew, a lot of coffee. Reporting in Lakewood Ranch, John Woodruff, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Now, the men's pentathlon is going to be held tomorrow at the Sarasota Polo Club, and the mixed relay is Sunday. Tickets are available at the gates.